Hi, Bob here with JD Squared. I just came out here to shoot a little quick video, give people an update of what we're doing. Um, they're building model um, RC6 of rotary cutters in this area. I'll show you that in a minute. Anyway, this is the machine that's being prepped for a customer to pick up. I think it's got a couple more hours worth of work. Um, let me show you some of the parts here. You've got the tube frame right there. Everything on this machine is massively heavy. You can tell um, very heavy built machine. Anyway, it's composed of a separate two frame assemblies. It gives us great versatility in what we're doing. We could do structural, you know, channel, um, square, rectangular, round. This is what we call the carriage frame, and this is what the carriage rides up and down. Now, this carriage frame right here doesn't have the gear racks on it, doesn't have the other rails on it. Like I said, they got a few more hours worth of work to button it up right here. But anyway, let's come over here. This is the the main 12 foot section of the machine. Now all of the plastic covers, because these are completely covered, once the machine is finished, they're not off there because I kind of wanted just to show you the wiring in the machine. If we start right here at the computer, you can see how pretty we, we do that. It's not just for looks, it's for organization. If anybody ever has an issue in the field, we're gonna wanna be able to give them identifiers, like what wire numbers to work with. So if you notice, everything is labeled. Um, that's the computer system, the one that we um, manufacture in-house, the new torch height control system. Um, pretty high quality. Now coming up here, our machines, we use wire by a company called IGUS, and um, also their cable carriers, ultra high quality stuff. And it's very good at electrical resistance in uh, a noisy environment. And we're talking electrical noise, um, for instance, plasma cutting, high def cutting. If you notice, we also use extremely heavy, um, you know, ground cables. They're everywhere, all over the machine. It's the only way to ensure that you have a, a good ground. This is the gear rack system right here. You can see a little bit better with the rails. They're three quarter inch gears. We didn't do anything light duty on the machine. If we come up this way, you can see the carriage assembly itself. It has a pneumatic counterbalance cylinder. And that's because all of our machines, rotary cutters, the big ones, have the ability to mount a large spindle right here, like a wood routing spindle or anything like that. So you could do, um, like for instance, wood columns, wood structures, PVC milling, things like that. The new Y-beam here is entirely machined in a single setup in our new five axis CNC as, a, as well as the main base plate right here. Um, it's also machined in that right there. You can see right here, the heavy, very heavy cable carrier that we're using right there. You can also see the new improved larger motor. We put a 34 size motor on the very powerful motor to handle the extra weight. If somebody does put spindles on plasma, it's not that big of a deal, but when it comes to routing, it's a pretty big deal. SMW air valves, we're, we didn't go um, load buck on anything in this machine. This machine is designed to last 30 to 40 years minimum. And since we're gonna support it that long, we, we don't wanna be doing a lot of, um, of change of parts out, so we build it really, really good. Complete adjustable stop system here. This machine does not have the tube stabilizer system on the machine, but this is the new system so that you can get absolute max travel on the machine to the chuck by adjusting the actual home position of the machine when she homes in. Now, as I mentioned, this machine doesn't have any of the covers on it. You can see this is one side of the cover right here. There's more covers go here. And then there's covers that go on there. And of course, all the cable wire and all is completely covered also. This is the power head. We spent a lot of time R&D on the power head. Now I noticed the springs are not on the machine yet. That's the um, ground strap right there that wraps around it. This motor, oh, I can't tell you how many different motors we experimented with before we came up with one that was a very good, you know, it would handle three quarter to six inch pipe um, extremely well. Now the entire system, we've upgraded the system a little bit to where instead of being limited to six inch pipe, we now have a moment of inertia limit. limit. So for instance, we can handle six inch pipe 20 foot long without too much trouble, but um, you can also now do eight inch pipe. You just gotta stay within a moment of inertia value. So you can't exactly do a 20 footer, but you could probably do a 12 footer. Um, this is the computer system that comes with it with the um, on its pedestal. But if you come over here, let's see, let's get up closer over here. Using high torque drive pulleys that we machine in-house. Comes with the chuck system right there. All the machines come 
with a complete water tray system. We have an optional water injection fully enclosed system, so you could run Pico, um, which is our rust preventive solution that we represent. Um, anyway, this is the scriber mechanism, same one that's tried and true off the MAD machine. I noticed the cover still, you know, gonna have to be um, bolted down. You know, like I said, this machine has got a, maybe more than a couple hours worth of work, maybe three or four. Um, all the covers are off right here, but this is the guts of the machine right here. A lot of very precise machining. See how giant the ground, the ground wires are right here? Freaking giant. And um, so in this one here, we're running twin ball screws. Covers go on here, covers go out here, and that's gonna help us um, protect the machine from dust right there. This machine here is not equipped with the uh, motorized tilt axis system, which will work under program control here. This one here, a customer really didn't need it but all of our machines are tilt head capable. So this one here without the motorized is fitted with the adjust. You see the torch deal moving up there? It's a very simple mechanism. You adjust it. You can put a level here to straighten it, you know, make sure you're straight. It's also got indicators. I don't know if you can see the 45 zero indicators right there, but you basically lock it down right here and then you could adjust the, manually adjust the torch. So if you were going to chamfer one into the pipe, you've got no problems right there. Now I also notice on this machine, we really um, spent a lot of time, attention to detail. And when I was designing the machine, I didn't really care for this open like this. So there's actual black covers that fit on there. And we did that for two reasons. One, because I thought it looked pretty. And the other reason too, is it helps keep the machine clean in the, in the shop right there. And to give you an idea of a commitment we have this machine, we realize that during the first year, customers are gonna come up with some pretty darn good ideas for us that we should implement. So for instance, uh, a gentleman named Corey, he got his machine and he came up with the idea on this handle right here, which basically, this is where we break, um, break these bolts loose. He says, can you do me a favor? Can you just put the wrench on the end of the handle? Cause the handle hangs there. And we, and, and we thought that was a great idea. So we went ahead and did that. And of course he's gonna get all new parts as we develop come up with some new ideas he will you know and all these other customers are just going to one day get a box in the mail and it may be new cutting attachments or, or new fixtures and everything we really want to take care of our customers and we're not trying to be second place here we want to be number one so um, we realize that there, there's a lot of things that this machine has just so much capability there's a lot of things that we can develop for it some of them we haven't even thought of yet anyway this here wrench that I was showing you is actually for the lifter mechanism. And remember our machines with the tube frame, I don't have any in this machine because it's a customer's machine. The rollers don't adjust up or down. The Whatever pipe you put in always lays flat on the rollers. And what you do is you adjust the spindle up or down. And you can tell right here, I can pull it with one finger and adjust it up or down. And then when you get it adjusted to where you want, you lock it down. So the idea is, instead of adjusting buku rollers all up and down the tubing you bolt on the roller brackets which just takes you know a minute or so and then you adjust the head up or down to the tube and that worked out just so good i can't i can't tell you how good that worked um i, I see a couple other things we don't have the covers on here yet the scrapers you know a couple other things but anyway i just wanted to give you a, a quick little tour of a, of a, a machine being built for a customer now as this is, uh, what do we got, December 4th, I think today, or 5th, we're moving into our new building, and this is the new building right here. We're, we're starting to already paint walls. Um, you can see like that wall there, we've already painted. We're gonna try to turn this whole place into a showroom um, looking type environment, but right now it's far from it. We're moving frantically, so we have a lot of pallets that are just basically things are hitting the floor, and it's just like, hey, get out of the other building, get here, we'll organize later. There's our new wiring room back there because all of our wires, we, we manufacture on automated wire making machinery so we don't have the issue of um, bad hand crimps, something. You can see other RC6s here being built for customers. One in the far background is finished, ready to go. They're gonna, they, they're gonna pop the covers on it and I think they gotta crate it and ship it to them. There's an MP10 getting ready to go. I believe he's getting a two feeder mechanism on the side of his. This is one here in the process. This one here will be done um, probably Monday afternoon. Uh, and if you scroll that down, there's a couple other machines being built. Anyway, 
just wanted to shoot this quick video to give you an idea that we are working our butts off. Um, wish there was more than 24 hours in a day. Anyway, you guys stay safe, happy holidays, Merry Christmas and all, and I will be talking to you later. Take care. Bye.